WCMS. It's Alexis. And Elena. And today is February 26th, Buffalo Bill Cody's birthday. We've had some crazy weather with all these snow days. Speaking of crazy weather, let's go to the fifth graders to learn about extreme weather. Hey, Tavis here. In science, we've been learning all about all kinds of diff severe weather. We learned what causes the different weather to happen. Some examples are, of weather are tornadoes, hurricanes, droughts, and blizzards. We made flyers about something and weather that we chose. We learned what causes the different weather to happen. We've had lots of crazy weather lately, and it's cool to know why it happens. Now let's go from meteorologists to techies and find out what Sean is doing. Hello, my name's Sean, and in the past weeks, the fifth graders have been working on a fake website for a computer project. The students first picked out one of many famous people to research, including Herbert Hoover, Mickey Mantle, and Bill Gates. They then started to make a Google Doc and follow instructions to make a realistic looking website. Now let's type the attention to the anchors. Thanks, Sean. I really enjoyed learning about social media. Yeah, it was cool. Now we should go to Cameron to learn about their field trip. Hi, I'm Cameron, reporting on the field trip the 6th grade has recently taken. On Wednesday the 19th, and again on Wednesday the 26th, different 6th grade classes took turns going to the Heartland History Museum in Clarion, Iowa. But this wasn't just a field trip. We turned this visit into a couple of different graded projects. We, were, we are working on creating an iMovie and a flyer with all of the information we gathered at the museum. We started the day by attending a large scavenger hunt. We used our iPads to take pictures of the specific items needed. Then we broke up into three groups and watched different presentations by the Webster City FFA class, a herbal medicine woman, and a presentation on tracks and fur by John Laird. Afterwards, we took a lunch break, then moved on to do different crafts. Things like rope weaving, candle dipping, paper quilt patching, and puppet making were a few of the many choices to, of crafts to construct. Once we were finished with crafts, we had one thing left to do, create our projects. Each person or group had to decide on one exhibit to create an iMovie and a flyer. We had many choices such as an old style kitchen, a 50s barber shop, a Victorian age hotel, a large teddy bear display, an antique doctor's office, Alvina the Hat Lady's hat parlor, a 50s style ice cream parlor, an 1800s general store, a display of tractors and other farming equipment, and many other areas to film. We spent the weeks ahead of the field trip researching this one area, and once we arrived, all we needed to do was take pictures, film, and enjoy the exhibit's antiques. I think this field trip was very fun and educational, and I think it would be great for next year's sixth graders to go. Well, that's all for now. Back to the anchors. Well, that was an interesting trip. Yeah, I wish I could go. Hey, Alexis, do you know what speed is? Yeah, like a fast car? Maybe. Let's go to Maddie and see what they're learning about in science. Hey WCMS, it's Maddie, and in science we're learning about creating photo finishes. A photo finish is when two objects cross the finish line at the exact same time. We got to experiment in two different ways. In the beginning, we headed to the gyms and timed a walker and runner from each group and tried to create our own photo finish. 
After we got to experiment with our group for a couple days, we went to the lab and got on a program where we would use actual graphs and calculations. So when we erased two objects, they would cross the line at the exact same time. We had a bunch of different options of what to race with, things from a dog to a vacuum cleaner. Most of us aren't used to having that much math incorporated with our science units, but I think we all handled it well. Now let's send it off to Brayden for more seventh grade news. Wait, you gotta get the race. Hey there, I'm Brayden, and I'm downstairs in the Pathways Lab. The kids are supposed to do a Genius Time project where they go onto the internet and look up something that they would like to create. They then have to write down information about that project. Next, they create the project. After that, they share it on Keynote in front of the whole class. In the year of Girl. He is madly in love with. He wrote a song about her talking about how he wants to marry. I'm just gonna try it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, they could, if they wanted to, put it on YouTube. It's a great way to show your creativity in front of the entire class. Back to the anchors. Do you remember Lewis, Clark, and Sacagawea? You mean Sacagawea? Yeah, whatever. They explored or something, didn't they? I think so, but let's go to Haley and brush up on our history. Have you ever wanted to go out and explore unknown lands? Are you good at drawing maps? Hey WCMS, it's Haley. And these were things that Meriwether Lewis and William Clark had to want and know when they set out to explore the Louisiana Purchase in 1804. In eighth grade reading and language, we've been learning about the Lewis and Clark expedition. Over the past week or so, we have been researching information about some of the Indian tribes, plants, animals, and landscapes that the Corps of Discovery encountered. Using this information, we will write a newspaper article as if we were still living in the early 1800s. Well, I should probably go finish my article. So go explore and see what Tyler's up to. Who knows, maybe you'll find some birdies. Hey WCMS, I'm Tyler, and for the last week, we have been playing badminton PE. For the first few days, we were just learning how to play. First, you have to serve the birdie so it's past the line on the other side of the net. Then the other team tries to hit it back, which makes a rally. You get a point if you hit your opponent's side and they don't hit it back. You play to 11 and win by two. Right now we're doing a double elimination tournament. Can't wait to play again. Now back to the anchors. Well that was interesting. Now let's look up for upcoming events. There is no school February 28th due to professional development. Remember, National School Breakfast Week starts March 3rd. Also, the fifth graders are visiting the Iowa Central Community College in Fort Dodge on March 14th. And D.A.R.E. graduation is on March 11th at the Premsa High Auditorium, followed by the D.A.R.E. dance on March 15th at Fuller Hall. Have a great week. From, from the, the middle. Students first picked out one of many famous people to research, including Hubert, including Hubert, Hil, Herbert Hil, Hoover. 